Hey everybody, today I'm going to be opening a mystery doll, and you can tell it's the doll I ordered because it says bangs on the box. But this is a very strange box. It's so small. Here, I can get a doll and put her on top. It's very thin and very short, but this doll right here actually came in an identical box and she was fine. But I am so nervous to open this box. I think I got number 34, but we weren't quite sure from the pictures because they didn't show our eyebrows, so it could very much be number 13. And I have number 13, so I'm very nervous for this. So, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's sitting. She's sitting upright. And, and, it's 34! So a lot of people don't really know about this doll, but this is truly me number 34. She's extremely rare and there's like six people on AGIG that have her. She looks really similar to number 13 and her hair is perfect. Her hair is perfect. So it looks a little like kinky. It was probably in a hairnet for a while. But she has straight brown hair that's almost red, almost black. You could really get this doll mistaken for 13 or 16. She has brown eyes, and the thing that sets her apart from those other dolls is that she has feathered eyebrows instead of lined eyebrows. This is an older meat outfit that she comes in. This was the meat outfit I got my first My AG doll in, Chelsea. Um, this is a really nice shirt. I mean, I don't use this outfit that much. It, I try to dress my dolls in more trendy outfits, but it's a little pink shirt with butterflies and flowers on it. And this is a grayish purple skirt with a pink bow tied around it. And these boots are tall tan boots with like a periwinkle gray color bottoms with little clovers on them and then a green butterfly. Because this doll is used, I'm gonna give her a rundown on the condition. Her body cloth is perfect looking so far. I haven't changed her clothes. She has long neck strings. She even has her original underwear. The tag on the doll says 2013, so she's a more recent 34 before she retired. She has overall pretty tight limbs and her hair is in perfect condition. Like, this is the best hair on a used doll I have ever gotten. I'm so happy with her. She's literally perfect, and she's one of the cutest 34s I've seen. So here is a comparison between number 5 on the far left, number 34 in the middle, and number 13 on the right. 13 is a very common doll. She was out for a really long time, and she only recently just retired. She has brown hair, lined eyebrows, and bangs. 34 was only out for a few years. She has all the same features. She even does have dark brown hair, but she has feathered eyebrows and like reddish streaks. Number five was out from 1995 to 2009. She has reddish brown hair and it looks really red in comparison to 34. And most of the fives have longer pie bangs like this. When searching for your favorite doll with brown hair and bangs, always make sure you can see the doll's eyebrows before buying them or ask for a picture, or if they are visible in the picture, you can see that. Because number five is one of the earlier dolls, all the dolls used to have lined eyebrows like these, just one line. But later, a lot of the dolls started having feathered eyebrows, which look like this. An original 5 or 13 will have hair without layers and it will all be one length like this and kind of either curl in or flip up at the end. Number 5 has much lighter hair. They have the same face mold and eye color, but it's pretty easy to tell the difference between these two. Now can you tell the difference between 34, 13, and 16? It's a pretty close call. This doll right here is number 16 and this is number 34. The only difference is separating them is she just has slightly darker hair. They say it's dark brown and you can still get a 16 with pie bangs that start right here. Number 16 retired in 2020 and came out in 1995. So because she's one of the older original dolls, she will have lined eyebrows, but she will not. You may be able to recognize number 16's darker hair in eBay photos, but what it all comes down to is if you're getting one of the most common dolls that American Girl has ever made, or one of the more rarer dolls that looks very similar. 
Think you can tell the difference? On the left is 34 and on the right is 13. Well, they do look pretty different when put together on camera, but it's a really close call when buying from eBay. One thing I noticed is that newer 13s that have the newer bangs have wispy bangs, and you can easily see your eyebrows from underneath. 34 has very thick bangs that are just a little bit more thick than 13s, and it's almost impossible to see your eyebrows if styled the right way. When in the light, 13 has very, like, light brown hair but she has very dark, like, cherry-colored hair. It's just slightly darker than 13's. I think her hair is actually more similar to 16 color-wise. When facing backwards, they're almost identical. Number 13 looks like she has slightly longer hair, but that just may be because my 13 has been used more and used to be owned by my friend before she gave her to me, and her hair is in perfect condition. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so, so excited that I have number 34 now. I've been wanting her for a few years and she's a very pretty doll. And happy hunting if you do find a 34 and I will see you in my next video.